Okay, so a lot of people were requesting uh, a way to download the video and uh, maybe extract music from uh, actual YouTube videos. So we went ahead and did exactly that. As you see here, I'm remotely connected, so don't expect great speeds. It's not going to be the same as if it was uh, directly connected to a screen. But we'll go ahead and check it out. So we have two new files here, video grab and the music grab, right? So to show you how this works, let's do full screen video. So we'll do YouTube uh, video. Oops, let me do SH YouTube video grab. And we'll just throw in um, an address. So as you see, it's going to grab the YouTube video, setting in the language, doing all it can. It's going to actually download the whole video locally. Uh, reason being is it seems we can process the video a lot quicker. There's no lag. Uh, so streaming, as great as that is, a lot of you were complaining. Uh, I will leave the streaming option in there. You could just uh, uncomment it if you want to use it. Uh, but right now, I'm going to require that you uh, download the video. Um, so as you see, it downloaded the video. It's going to launch mPlayer to load it. Of course, uh, there you go, full screen video um, uh, of the video. In this, there's no actual video frame rate. Uh, this is a, a video provided by, um, what are they, HD Nation. Uh, they're an ode to uh, the little guy, right? So there's no actual movement or frames in that one. So it shows you it downloaded the video, and we could double check that by doing LS, and there it is, the YouTube vid. Uh, flash file. Uh, we could go ahead and get rid of that um, because we don't need it. Uh, oops, probably good to type a real command. There we go. And as you see, it's gone. So now if we wanted to extract the audio. Let's say it was one of your uh, um, favorite bands or something, right? Uh, we can literally go grab the audio and uh, keep it locally, right? So as you see, it's going to grab the YouTube audio. And now it's downloading the audio that it uh, was able to get. And so as you see here, new mammal species, which it is a new uh, species uh, that we've uh, found, I guess, in the world. You almost think there's nothing else you can find, but sure enough, there is. Um, and that's what that creature was, uh, or animal rather, that you saw previously. Uh, There's just strictly music in the picture of the little guy. Now, what you see right now, it's not loading M player or anything, so to speak, um, but it will. Uh, I'm working on making the code to do that. Probably going to use cat um, to uh, save the actual file name. Um, eventually, probably uh, use something like uh, awk. Uh, to look for them and uh, create a playlist. Uh, but right now, as you see, it's uh, converting the file for us. It's making it into an MP3 from the YouTube video. So give it a moment. Now, of course, it's going to take a little bit of time. You're encoding to an actual file, and you're going to keep it. How do we know it's there? And there you are. So you technically wanted to listen to it, which you're not going to be able to hear, but we could literally open it up and it's playing the music. Can't hear it because I don't have audio playback, as you see, and it tells us no video. So that goes to tell you that we were able to successfully have the video um, and uh, uh, get rid of it and keep the audio only. So. With that being said, that's the new things going on with the PyCast. More to come. There's a web control panel that is coming, of course. Um, but not only that, uh, you can now download uh, YouTube full videos with the audio and video. Uh, or just extract music from your favorite YouTube video, uh, which, of course, you can keep locally. Now, why are we allowing you to do that? Well, that was not my original intention, but... Um, I noticed it goes a lot quicker. It's a better frame rate um, and less processing power. So uh, go ahead and uh, get the new update. You might not see it in the installer just yet, 
uh, but it's getting there. A uh, lot to come. And please remember, of course, it's not like the uh, Chromecast just yet. This is a brand new project. You can't expect, you know, Google to have done it in two days, uh, three days, even a month. And they have paid employees that that's what they were dedicated to do. Um, how long did it take? Who knows? But you're also using their proprietary browser. We're doing open web technologies. We're bypassing that. We're doing an open, free, public thing, uh, project, not thing. Uh, so everybody around the world, not just the U.S., have access to this. Anybody can do it. So is it the best thing like the Chromecast yet? No. Is it going to be there? I'm pretty sure we can do it. Uh, so it's an open project. You think you can do better? You don't like the way I'm doing the database? You don't like the way I'm chmodding a file? You don't like how I'm not using sockets? You don't like how I'm not using uh, Python more? Fork the project. Go and do it. Don't talk about it. Go do it. Show me. I'll, you know, I'll do a request to grab it and put it in the project if it makes sense. But don't talk about, oh, it's not this. I get that. I'm one person. It's completely free. Uh, nobody's paying me to do this. Um, nobody's backing me to do this. I don't have a team. Uh, so if you can do better, uh, I beg of you to please uh, go do it uh, and share it with us all. So it's not Chromecast yet, but we are getting there. And it's going to be more than that. And we're not requiring proprietary software. We're allowing anybody to do it and by using a simple API. Why not do some crazy code? Well, because we want it open and available and so easy that all you have to do is run an API uh, request. In this case, web-based. Could you change it? Sure, go do it, please, by all means. But right now, this is the best way to go forward. It's as simple as we can for now and then later we can change the method and change the little teeny things that you guys keep complaining about. Um, so, you want to fix it? Go for it. Do it. Show me. Makes sense. I'll add it. But in the meantime, this is the way we're going to do uh, video uh, downloading for YouTube and uh, audio. Uh, so you can keep the audio file for later. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to rename it if you want um, and do playlists and everything I've told you guys before and a web control panel and a Windows Phone uh, remote. Uh, I'll leave you Android and iPhone people to make your own. So anyways, uh, that's where we're uh, right now. Um, so good luck and keep the feedback coming.